everybody. Welcome back, boys and girls. It's your main math man, Mr. Shank, coming to you live from Walker Grant Middle School. And in this video, we're working with that Wednesday warm-up, which says this. It says, find the probability that Jordan will choose the letter C, a card with a letter C on it, put it back, and then choose a blue card. And again, you can kind of see that keyword, put it back. That means that it's going to be independent. The reason why it's independent, that means it's no change. We're not changing the denominator at all, so it's not affecting the outcome. And so, okay, how many cards do we have? Well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight, write this here, eight total cards. All right, so now we do it like this. We say, all right, we have how many cards have a C on it? Well, we have one and two. So we're going to say the probability of picking a C, or a card with a C on it. How many cards have a C on it? Well, we said two. And we have out of the total eight cards. Again, you can simplify by dividing by the greatest common factor of those two numbers, which is two. And so we have one-fourth. Since we put it back, again, we still have eight total cards. And then we say, okay, how many blue cards do you have? Well, we have one, two, three, four cards. So we say probability of picking a blue is going to be four blue cards out of the total eight cards. Again, divide by the common, not, uh, excuse me, the common factor of four. And so we get one half. Half of the cards are blue. Now that we have those two fractions, make sure you multiply those two together. So we write it like this. We say the probability of those two events happening at the same time. We would say probability of picking a C and picking a blue is equal to. And then we have our first fraction. So we have in parentheses to show multiplication. We say 1 fourth times the second fraction, which is one half. Again, make sure you're multiplying the numerators together. A lot of people uh, have just been adding those two together or just adding straight across. Make sure that you are multiplying. So we multiply, multiply. So we have one times one is, this is uh, still one. Four times two is still eight.